Hello everyone, this is Ishani with IB Professional School and today in this YouTube video, we are going to talk about something called Smart Labels. So I'm sure we all have created visuals in Power BI and uh, labels are in abundance. Like you can see the visual at the bottom, I've plotted a simple sales trend or sales of various month and two years. And I have, when I turn on the labels, there are way too much labels for me to focus on. Now, typically, Labels are there to give us information about the graphs that we're looking at. But if I want my end user to focus on a certain point or a certain label, because that holds a lot of meaning in my business outcome, then I, how do I make that highlight? How, how do I highlight that? So if you see over here, we are going to use conditional formatting on a value and create smart labels. Like you can see in this visual at the bottom, there are few labels which are turning green in color. And if I change the subcategory, you will see now I have few labels which are also turning red in color. So not all the labels are getting a color. So the rule that I have put in the back end is if the sales of previous month and this month, if the difference is greater than 50%, it means I have increased my sales more than 50% of the previous month then I want to recognize these months and I have turned it green in color. And if there are months where my sales is less than 50% of my previous month sales, I want to highlight those months as well and that I have put as red in color. So let's just see how this is going to happen. So this has been created. This is a simple visual that I have created of a line chart. Let's get started on this page. I'll create a field. There are a couple of uh, measure and calculated columns I've created for finding the previous year and plotting the previous year sales. So let's just quickly go through them. Uh, first and foremost, I have created a measure called total sales. Since it's a single column, I have used the tax function of sum. So sum on sales is going to keep it, I will keep it in the measured of total sales. Then I've created a calculated column called start of month. What this is doing is whatever is my order date, let's say if it's 15th of December 2022, start of month will be 1st December. So why we do this is so that we can, you know, get a cumulative of all the sales on a particular month. So everything that is in the month of December will be under 1st December 2022 and I'll get the total sales for the month of December. Once you have done with this, then I have created a measure called previous month sales in which I have used the DAX of calculate and previous month and we will get the sales of previous month. All right. Once these things are ready, then what we are going to do is we are going to create one more measure and this is the important measure based on which the coloring has been done now let's just quickly go through what we are doing in this measure we are I'm going to call it as cf labels and we are going to store the result in the variable called result we are i'm using this function called switch now switch works like a nested if where you have multiple conditions checking and wherever the condition is meeting, it is going to return the value as per that particular condition. So in switch, first thing it's saying is, okay, what value are we expecting as an output? So I'm expecting true. And what's the condition? The first condition I'm saying is if the total sales minus the previous sales divided by the previous sales is greater than 0.5, means I have increased my sales more than 50%. In that case, I want the color to be RGBA 6, 161, which is a green color. And the next logical test I put in switch is if the total sales minus the previous month sales divided that the previous month sale is less than minus of 0.5, means I have achieved less than 50% of what I had in the previous month, then I want to make it RB. 
RGBA 23971111, which is the color for the red color. And then we are going to return the result. So what we have created using this is a measure called CS label in which we are doing multiple condition checking based on the previous month and this month sales. And cutoff has been created to which color should be applied when. So once this is done, now let's go to the visual part. I have dropped the, I'm going to create a line chart. And in the line chart, I simply dropped the start of the month and I've dropped the total sales. Now what I uh, had done, like I told you, in start of the month, I'm just going to pull it down a little bit. Start of the month uh, is a date, it's a hierarchy, but I'm going to use it as a single, as a value itself because um, each month has been converted into first of that month. So anyways, I'm not going to have individual dates. So I've converted into start of month and now we will go to the formatting. Now, once we get into the formatting, we will see data labels. I'm going to turn it on. Everything looks the same. So now we are going to change this thing and make our end user focus on certain values. So once I click on the values under the data labels, you will see there is a color. If I pick a color manually, again, the same issue, all the labels get the same color. So what I want to do is instead of putting labels on all the colors, I want to use FX. In FX, I am going to pick a field value because see if label that we created in the measure is a field. We are going to go and go ahead and select this label and click OK. All right. Now, as soon as I have done this, you will see two of the labels, which is one in the month of Feb, one is in the month of June. They have been highlighted as green. Now, just to see whether the changes are happening or not, let's go ahead and apply it on region. And very quickly, I'm just going to turn this vertical list into a tile. First, previously it was not called a tile. It was like a horizontal orientation. But with the new changes in Power BI, now they are being called tiles. Now that the tiles are ready, if I want to see in East what's going on, so they have been one, two, three, four, five, five months where I've achieved the sales value, which is more than the 50% of the previous sale. And at the same time, one, two, three, four, five, five months where I've achieved lesser than that. And after this point, which is the 1st of November, after that it has been, there has been ups and downs, but nothing very exciting and nothing very bad that we have got even less than 50% of it in this region of East. And similarly, as in when we keep on changing, you will see now the label color changes. So the use case of this particular technique of smart label is that we want to make sure that the end user is focusing on a certain value. So we can use this creation of a measure, putting the condition inside it, we can put it in uh, on the line charts. We can have the column charts on which we are applying. We can apply it on the tables as well. So I hope you find this uh, trick a little useful one and uh, making your visuals much more user targeted. For more such videos, please make sure you subscribe to YouTube channel of Ivy. Thank you so much.